The Pioneer Panzer III Kodiak Armored Engineer Vehicle was developed from 2002 by Rheinmetall of Germany and IUAG of Switzerland as a private venture to meet the operational requirements of the Swiss Army. The first prototype was revealed in 2003. In 2007 the Swiss Army awarded a contract for 12 Kodiaks. First production machines were delivered to the Swiss Army in 2009. Other operators of the Kodiak are the Netherlands, 10, and Sweden, 6. These vehicles were planned to be delivered until 2012. In 2021 German Army ordered 44 Kodiak engineer vehicles. Deliveries are planned to begin in 2023 and should be completed in 2029. German Kodiaks will be based on the Leopard 2A7V tank chassis, and will replace in service the current Pioneer Panzer II DAX armored engineer vehicles, based on the Leopard 1 chassis. Main tasks of this combat engineering vehicle is building and removing obstacles on the battlefield and clearing pathways through minefields, creating safe lanes for other vehicles to pass. It allows assault units to move rapidly through obstacles, before enemy forces establish defenses. The Kodiak Combat Engineering Vehicle is based on a modified Leopard 2 MBT chassis. It is worth mentioning that Kodiaks are built on refurbished Leopard 2 hulls from surplus army stocks. This military engineering vehicle is fitted with a hinged excavator arm, two capstan winches, a full-length dozer blade or mine plow at the front. The mine plow is used for clearing lanes through minefields. The Kodiak is also fitted with a safe lane marking system. This engineering vehicle may be also fitted with electromagnetic detonator device. The mine plow can be field reconfigured to a full-length dozer blade. It is used for clearing obstacles and earth-moving works. These include as preparation of firing positions, covering up of ditches, self-entrenching and so on. The dozer blade is also used to stabilize the vehicle during operations with excavator arm. A large bucket of the hinged excavator system can be replaced with universal gripper, concrete cutter, and earth drill. This engineering vehicle is equipped with two 9T capstan winches. Each has a cable length of 200M. With the help of pulley blocks maximum traction force is up to 62T. These winches are used for self-recovery, also for recovery of damaged, stuck, sunken and overturned vehicles, or for cargo handling operations. The Kodiak has a required level of protection to operate alongside the frontline units. Front arc withstands small caliber projectile hits, while all-round protection is against heavy machine gun fire and artillery shell splinters. This combat engineering vehicle has the same level of protection against landmines as the Leopard 2 main battle tank. Vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The Kodiak is equipped with remotely controlled weapon station armed with 12.7mm heavy machine gun for self-defense. Alternatively a 40mm automatic grenade launcher might be fitted, depending on customer requirement. This combat engineering vehicle has a crew of three, including commander, driver and operator. Multiple all-round cameras allow efficient operation under armor, without leaving the vehicle. The Kodiak is powered by MTU MB873KA501 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,500 horsepower. The same engine is used by the Leopard 2 main battle tank.